Hi everyone, it's Teresa here. Um, just going to see if I can get this turned around. Okay, let's see if that's the right way around. What have I got here? Sea of textures. I think that's the right way around. Very good. Okay, we're a couple of minutes early, but not that far off starting. Hope everyone survived their hot day today. We had card classes today, so um, making our box cards, and um, so we'll have to finish them off next week. It's a part one, part two, that one. So I am looking to start up another group because I have had a few girls that couldn't come to the first group and um, to my home. And so I'm going to start up another one. I think either a Tuesday night or a Sunday. So if you're interested in coming um, on a Tuesday night or a Sunday afternoon, um, please put your name down and say your preference. And um, yeah, as soon as we get some girls together, we'll run another class. Now class online, I've had people asking me, can I do paid classes online and yes I can um, it will be a private Facebook page um, that will do a video and go through everything hi Narelle how are you um, so it's um, something that we can do okay so if you're looking for a class online um, let me know uh, as soon as we get a few girls it's um, yeah easier to run it for three or four girls than to run it for one person at a time um, okay, so if you're interested, I'll be sending out material requirement list that you will need to place your orders and once with using a hostess code. And once those orders have come through, then we will get the class organised. So if you're interested in doing that, put your name down. Okay, tonight I'm going to share that one sheet wonder that I've been talking about, um, which is a 12 by 12 one. And I was trying to make it that we could fit it in half an hour. Um, a lot of them, I made more, a lot more cards and it took a lot longer. So this one's um, three little, three cards, but we will probably just get one made tonight. Um, but I'll show you the three cards on how to actually, what they're gonna look like. Okay. Um, so yeah, with that, We'll, we'll get going. I'll bring you down here so you can start seeing what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I hope I didn't swap anything there. Okay. So tonight we're using um, our beautiful Sea of Texture um, stamp set. And also um, the framelits. We're also using the Tranquil Twilight tied, I should say, quite, um, this textured designer series paper. Okay, that's a mouthful for someone that's dyslexic. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be using this. It's on page 155 on our main um, annual catalogue. So I really love this stamp set. Okay, so this is the Sea of Texture stamp set. It's got the octopus, it's really manny. Um, so we're going to do a man's card tonight um, and our die cuts and I love the die cuts too they're really really um, got some great little die cuts in here um, I don't know if anyone else likes the, the sticky on this but we've got our octopus and our net which I just love so these are really great I'll just place them down here and then we've got um, some reef and some coral, starfish, and some little fishies, and they're just all so cute. Okay, so I have taken the time to cut some of these out already tonight, which I'll just show you. Uh, for the simple reason is that um, otherwise it just takes too long. So I've also cut out a circle scallop, and this is our fishnet or net I should say not fishnet but net um, our octopus some corals and you can bring some different colors in on your corals and our grass 
and you know I've done another octopus but I'm going to show you how to do the octopus to get him that nice darker color okay so we've got a few more corals over here and you can do all different colors and then some of our little ones as well and a couple more of the grass weeds so it's really up to you what you cut out to put on your card but we'll just pop this all over here for the moment and we'll get started with our 12 by 12 piece so I'm just gonna pop this back in here so I'm just going to show you our 12 by 12 Now I love the designer series paper because it really is um, really goes well. I'm going to be using the blue one with this touch of um, red through it tonight. But this is really beautiful. We've got two sides to our designer series paper. I'll quickly just show you the paper itself because it's really gorgeous. It is really um, great for men's cards. So I just love it and water. So I can imagine even the. Um, there, uh, what's the other one? We've got the, um, you could put the horses on it, you could put the lighthouse on it, you could put any of the, the cars on it, you could put any of the men's stuff. This one go well with the fish as well, and this one, I just love them. They've got all different plain colours on the back, or plainer colours, um, which are really beautiful. So, yeah, these would all go well with um, any of the stamp sets that you're looking for a man's stamp set or looking for a man's card or a gentleman's card I should say <laughs> however you want to say it so our first pieces we're um, doing is I'll just read this out to you I'll just show you here so it's 13.5 the distance from here to our first um, draw off line 13.5 and then 2.5 is our first score line 6.5 and then another 6.5 then another 10 centimeters and then we'll have a five centimeter left over you're going to cut down here so this five centimeter left over I've turned the paper over the other way so you can sort of see that that's left over but we will be using that leftover on another card. And if we don't get it done tonight, we'll continue next week. Sometimes it's hard to fit it in in half an hour. So you can see the first four panels are for our card. And then we have this strip here. And then we've done exactly the same on the bottom here. We've got another card exactly the same. So you can do two cards exactly the same, but in different colours. So I've actually taken... Um, the Knight and Navy, and you can sort of see this is how our card will go, like this, which is really lovely. And I've also gone with um, our new, oh, what's this one called again? Um, Miriam Malot, and this looks really nice too, and it um, goes really nice with this because it's just a little bit darker than the um, than this than this. So this will also go here, on here like this. But then again, I'm telling you, this side looks nice on it as well with the mirror mill as um, so you can do either. Okay. So this bottom one I've actually stuck onto the Knight of Navy. Okay. So I'm just going to score that for you. I'm just going to do one on a basic black. So we're going to score our card, and our, our card is 28 centimetres, and if you turn it around this way you can see it's by 14 centimetres, or what did I say that was before, 13.5 if you wanted to go 13.5, okay. Then we're going to score it at 3 centimetres, and if you've got the centimetre um, board you can use that. Oh, excuse me, I've got hay fever. <coughs> I don't know if anyone else has got hay fever with this weather, but it's hit me with revenge today. 
then 10, 10 centimetres, then 17 centimetres. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My nose is just running. Okay. So you can make this card as long as as short as you like. And your designer series paper will fit into it. Okay, so... Um, I've actually made this a little bit bigger because this is 13.5 for your designer series paper and I've actually cut this one out at 14 so that this will fit and have a little mat around it like this, a little border around it. Okay, so when you fold this you're folding your card over and you're folding your card back and then forward. And it gives you your little card, which is really nice. It's a nice card for a man. Let's get started on our card. Sorry, I'll move all this out of way. We will make a card with this one and with this one. Might not happen tonight, but we will do it. Well, let's start our first card. So we've got our knight and navy. Oops, sorry, my little lead just fell out of my scorer. Okay. So this is what we're going to be working on. I like to always bring my silicon mat here so I can work on it. So the first thing we're going to do is, I think, I think I might bring my circle down. Okay. Now remember, I haven't actually made one before. So this is cold turkey. I haven't got any samples made up. At the moment, I haven't had time, I've been working flat out. So we'll put this on here. Then we'll put our net coming on here too. So we'll work out where we want our net. But this is where I like the silicon mat because if we're going to come on with a snail, we can turn it over, remember, and then just rub it. Just rub it and um, it puts all the glue to the back. Okay, and then you can just peel it off and your snail is where you want it at the back. Okay, so let's go, hmm. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> I sometimes find if I try too hard to work out where I want it, it will mess up. So let's just do it. Let's just pop them down. Okay, so our octopus is going on here. So I might use a little bit of a dimension on the back of him. And we have our little dimensions here, so I'm just going to pop a few um, on the back here. On his little feet. And I suppose they're testicles or whatever um, they call them on the octopus. Okay, one in there, and these are only, like I said, the little ones. And we probably need one over this side here. These just fit in, uh, not going to fit in really good, so I'm not going to worry about putting one in there at the moment because it will be on that side of the card where it's going to close, so it's not going to matter. So just take the little backs off your little mini foamies here, little stamping dimensions. Okay. And we're going to bring him down hmm, about here. He's so cute. Okay, now let's have a look at what we actually cut out. So we've got some little grass. So we're going to come across here with that. Now this can go sort of down behind him there. Because you want it to sort of curl up a little bit and... Um, all over a little bit, you don't want it sitting so straight. Now with these, you might want to sponge around them. If you um, want them to look more like a mother of pearl, you might not want to sponge around them, you might just want to put them on. And I think we might do a little bit of sponging on these ones. A little bit of night and navy. Excuse me for sniffing, don't mean to, I hate sniffing. <laughs> the nose just wants to run. Okay, so we're just going to just do a little bit. It just gives it that little bit of um, 
a wow factor, I reckon, because it just takes away that starky white edge. Okay, so we can work out where we want these and we can place them down. So I'm just going to use a big dimension on the back of him. Okay, just take the back off. We'll just bring that down here. Now you've got to remember your card's going to close like this. So you're going to see part of this. So we're going to bring down a piece on the top here of um, white card. And this is the measurements. I'll give you the measurements of this one. This one is 10 centimetres by 5 centimetres. And we might bring that in there because we want to do a little bit of stamping of words on that. So we're just going to get our stamps out and see what we want to stamp on it. Thanks for reaching out. I think that's nice. So let's go with that one. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this on a block and we're going to do this in the night of navy or you can do it in the um, Mary Mallot. I'm going to do it in the night of navy. So I'm just going to stamp out the word. I'm just going to stamp it over here first to make sure that um, it's a little bit straight. Okay. That's a bit better. Okay, so let's bring that in there. Thanks for reaching out. Don't forget to use your chamois or um, your cleaning pad for your stamps. Now the other thing that I like is it's got a um, little bit of like neck type in here as well. You have a little bit of a neck type and a blotchy one. <laughs> I don't know what you'd actually a mottly one here. So we're just going to come in with a little bit of the night and navy again. And you'll see what I mean when I bring it down on the card. So you can sort of see it comes in with um, this nice, which really blends in with the paper that we're using, which is really good. Now you can add a little bit up there, but I'm actually going to add a little bit of a net towards the top. So I'll just pop that over there for a minute. Sorry. And come down here. And we're gonna just pop a little bit of net on the card like this. Then I'm just going to get my blue and I'm just going to sponge it around. Okay, sponge around. Now if you want to bring a little bit of colour into it, you can just sponge a little bit into like a little bit. If you want to bring a bit of blue into it, you can just bring the sponge and rub into it. especially up in that area there. Okay, so this is going to sit on our card, the front of our card, which is going to be there. Now you can have this with the flap down or you can actually glue it down. I'm actually going to glue mine down this time. But before I glue it, um, I just... Okay, so probably half of this we're going to snail first until I work out whether I want to glue it or I don't want to glue it. I'm not quite sure yet. So we stick that on the front one there. I might want to put something else into there, so I might leave that at the moment. If I want to glue that out, I can, and it will open up like that like a seg card. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> okay, let's glue this one down. 
Okay, so we'll stick this one down too. So we'll stick that one down. And it can be, like I said, calm, which is nice. I like the way it has a little bit of blue there and that. Okay, so this is our card so far. Now we're going to do another octopus. So I'm just going to show you um, how to get that nice and dark. Now you can do it on white cardstock, but I've decided tonight that I'm going to do it on the um, on Crage. Um, yeah, the Crage cardstock. Sorry, I can't think tonight. A little bit of my brain's just gone off, <laughs> but I can still talk. Okay, so we're going to come down once on our Stamparatus. And you can see it's pretty light. Now the one thing I love about our Stamparatus is that it will go exactly over that same image again. So that's two times. This is three times. And sometimes I do up to six layers. Until I get it the way I want it. Don't actually mind that. The three is pretty awesome. So we'll come down one more time. And this is four times. That's pretty good. So you can go as dark or as light as you want. Now I'll just show you one alongside of it that's only got one. If I can find him. This one here has only got one. So you can sort of see he darkens up a lot more the more you're doing. Like I said, you can do lots or as little as you want. So we'll take this off and clean it. Okay. Now I wanted a bit lighter one on my card, the front card, because I want him to look a little bit different to the one on the back. But we're going to line him up over the one underneath. So we're going to need a dimension on the back here. And you're not going to put dimension on this side, just on this side. So we're going to go with our little ones. So I want one here. And one down here for the moment. I want that lined up over there. Yep, that's pretty cool. Now before I stick that on, I want that grass. I want some grass coming from here, so I'm just going to pop that on there, just now. And I want to bring in a piece of coral as well on here. So I'm going to use a bigger dimension on this one to raise him up just a little bit more. And then we're going to add this over the top of here. So we'll take the little backs off. And line him up exactly over Now I haven't actually made one of these before, but I I do surprisingly enough imagine it in my mind. So when I'm cutting out my pieces, I sort of have an idea, excuse me, um, of how I want to place it already. I sort of have a, a bit of an idea in my head. So you can sort of see that so far this looks really great. So if the card was flat, we might need some more stuff in on here, some coral in here. And we might add another one on there. So I'll add this one on, little dimension, right in the middle there. Now I do like the idea of having, um, you've got to have somewhere to write on the card too. So we've got another white card here and I've made this one a different size because I think it's one of those um, patterns that you can make different sizes. So this one is four and a half by 11. Not much difference, but a little bit. So let's decorate up this. We want to write on this. 
So say you're going to write, dear blah blah blah, happy birthday. So we just might want to sponge around it first. Put a bit of sponging around it. Might want to not put too much decorations on it, but I am going to put a little bit on it so it all blends in. Now if you wanted to, you could make two cards exactly the same, only one of the bases could be in the blue, and the other one could be in Mary Malone. But then you can do sort of the same sort of arrangement if you wanted to. And then your other off bits can be done a bit differently. So I'm just going to bring in a little bit of um, our netting on this. And I might come in with the Night and Navy ink. And I'm just going to come in just down on the bottom here. And a little bit up the top there and you can write on the inside. I think it just needed something stamped on it, even though you can still write your little verse in there, like to who it's from. So I'm just going to snail this one. So this could be um, to your son or to your auntie, uh, auntie, to your uncle um, or to your dad or grandpa. Anyone, or it could be just a male friend. So you can sort of see it's starting to take shape now, but we've still got some of this little coral which I would like to place on. So just bring in a dimension and place this one on. Now I'm going to show you that looks quite good. Now the coral can come down from the top too if you want it to. You don't have to have it all from the bottom, but I'm bit that way. <laughs> like it all going from the bottom but you can bring it up from the top. Down from the top I should say because it could be completely underwater. So hmm, I might bring this little piece over here. Yep that looks good. Okay now how did we stamp out the coral because um, everyone sort of asks us that. So we're stamping out the little stamp that um, is this one, I'll show you. So I didn't use the big one for the vine, on the big one. I used the little one with lots of different colors. So I stamped it out and then once I actually cut this out with the big shot, I actually came in with the same stamp in with the pinks and um, Coastal Cabana and all the paler colours so but you can use this one I just haven't used it as yet I've used the die cut but not the stamp the stamp still got the back on the back on it I haven't used the stamp um, I just used the little one but you can use whatever you like remember this is just a guide for you okay so this is really really um, acute thanks for reaching out and then you can just write do you pop Thank you for being there for me, blah, 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 which is really nice. Now, um, with this bit in here, if you wanted to just sponge a little bit onto it, you can. It's entirely up to you. Just add a little bit of blue on there. You can do that. A little bit on your... You can just sponge a little bit on there. Okay. So that's one card this week. Next week, we'll make another one. And we'll do it a little bit differently. So how cute is that? Okay. Oh, I'm going to come back up here. <laughs> I hope everyone's surviving this hot weather because it has been hot and I don't know if anyone else has got hay fever, but oh, I've got it really chronic. <laughs> it's really bad. But I really do love um, putting this together. Thank you for the love hearts. If you want to join an online class, which will be a private group, it will cost um, you $20. You'll get to make the three cards, uh, the same as what I teach at home, and you will do it privately, and it will probably be a Tuesday night, because um, 
that's the night that I don't have anything on. So how gorgeous is this card? He is so gorgeous. The designer series paper really, really, really helps. And having a set, I love the way Stampin' Up! coordinates the stamp sets with papers and um, brings everything in. But designing it also makes it really gorgeous too. Now, I am still looking for team members. Um, we've got one month left to go with celebration. If you'd like to join our team and save a little bit of money on your products, um, you can still come in and learn classes online with me. Um, you can still um, log into this free um, class online, plus a paid one if you want to. Um, and we have training days here at my house that you can always come up to. Um, we had one last Saturday. Thank you to all the ladies that no, yes, Saturday. Thank you to all the ladies that came last Saturday. We had an awesome time. Um, I shared with the ladies how to do live Facebook. It was a bit scary for them, so they put it onto the team page. They were saying who they were and how they felt. But you've got to start somewhere. Everyone's got to start somewhere. So we get some training in, basic training. It's really lovely. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the card tonight. We'll do a second edition of this next week and hopefully... Um, share the other two cards that you get out of those 12 by 12 piece of paper so i hope you enjoyed that one sheet wonder all right then so until next week love you all survive this hot weather for the next few days the people down here in victoria um we're going to be having heat waves from the sound of it so keep cool drink plenty of water and you're all very welcome thank you to all for joining me tonight god bless